um, is from Jane Siskela. Hi. At, um, Forge Flow. Sorry, I'm, I'm not European. I try my hardest. Um, no problem. And he's going to talk to us about the refactoring of the ACA financial reports. So over to you. Yes. Uh, yes, I'm Joan Siskeya, and I'm really ha happy to be here. Uh, I'm technical consultant in Forgeflow, and to avoid technical issues and for the flow of the presentation, I uh, have recorded a short video. So I'm going to share you the, the video, and then uh, we can talk about it, and, and we'll be glad to respond all your questions. Okay, I'm sharing my screen, yes. So, I'm going to- Yes, uh, it's perfectly visible, we can all see it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Juan Siskeya, and I'm technical consultant at Forgeflow. Now, I'm going to talk about the OCA financial reports refactoring made by, by Forgeflow uh, during last year. First of all, I'm going to make a small explanation about the functions of financial reports for companies. Financial reports have two main functions. They are used to verify and enforce regulatory aspects and tax returns. But above all, they are used to align the goals that each company sets at the beginning of the year and create adjustments in the business strategy. But these financial reports not always work as well as expected. As always thought mainly for a small and medium enterprise, sometimes it hasn't the best performance with uh, big databases. This creates problems of performance as it takes too much time to do certain jobs. In Forgeflow, we work with clients with very huge databases. This causes problems when using financial reports since they took too many minutes to calculate or gave errors due to timeout. Due to this, our client was not happy with the speed of calculation of the financial reports. And this creates us the need to refactor the financial reports to improve their performance. The main purpose of the project was to increase performance, maintaining as much as possible the functionality of the different reports. The biggest problem to solve was that sometimes the system collapsed and gives an error associated to the vacuuming of the transient records because the reports introduced a huge amount of, of records every time the report was, was run. And for this reason, we decided to remove transient models. We start using uh, Python dictionaries instead. With Python dictionaries, we avoid writing in database and this eliminates the, the main problem, which is the collapse of the report. Also, this increased performance because reduces the number of searches in database. But probably only doing this was not enough uh, increase of performance for the user experience to be acceptable. And we were thinking for a long time uh, other ways to reduce the time of creation of the report. And we decided to minimize as much as possible the number of access to the database to reduce the searching times. So, in the refactoring, uh, we change the way the reports work. Before the refactoring, the reports were doing a big number of little searches in database to look for a specific information in each search. Right now, we have reduced as much as possible the number of access to the database. If possible, only one search per model. Grabbing a, a large records of information and then use the do ORM to process it and make sense of it. In the case of the account move lines, it is not possible to do a single search since it's the main model from which all the information is obtained. But we have reduced them as much as possible. And then for the uh, other models that are used to complete the information, it has been possible to reduce it to a single access. So as now we have to work more on the analysis and the ordering of the records, we have used a Python language to do it through the ORM. So, also by having the main body of the reports in Python, we get the report to be more readable and therefore easy to maintain. Also, this has increased the modularity of the reports, doing the reports easy to expand to different kinds of new features. 
Um, as a result of the refactoring, we have managed to make the reports up to three times faster. The following table shows a comparison of the calculation times before and after the refactoring. As you can see, the speed has increased for all of them. It had been tested with a fiscal year with 50,000 journal items in 105 different accounts. It had also uh, 2,300 uh, not reconciled journal items, open items. Um, the time it took before refactoring was 2 minutes and 8 seconds for the general ledger and 1 minute and 8 seconds for the journal ledger. Now it's reduced to 40 seconds for both. So it has been reduced by 3 in the first case and 1.7 for the journal ledger. We can see that for the other ones the ratio is around 3 to. So um, after analyzing these results I think we can conclude that we have achieved our goal which is to reduce computation time and we have also eliminated the errors associated with vacuuming of the transient records. As future work for the next versions, we could recover the functions that made the related data open when clicking on the different items in the report. It is something that we have to remove because it makes the system collapse in the very large reports. Perhaps for version 14 is already possible to recover it or at least have the two options to be able to choose uh, when you are taking smaller reports. Uh, we could also continue adding new features to improve the user experience, such as the domain filter that we have added to make more specific searches. You know, uh, all pull requests with new improvements are welcome in the OCA. And now I'm going to finish this presentation by thanking all the OCA sponsors who make possible for us to be here today. And um, thank you very much. And now I'm going to answer in live if you have any question or comment. See you now. So, see you now. Uh, I'm here and I'm going to be glad to uh, discuss about uh, the refactoring of the financial report if you have uh, any question. Maybe it has been a short video. Uh, okay, so here we are. Okay. So yeah, if you have any questions, just either ask them on the chat in the Q&A. We've got one that's just come through. Um, so Alexander has asked if, um, what's the memory trade-off of this refactoring? So uh, obviously we've, we've traded persistence for memory. What, what's the trade-off? How much memory are we using? Are we running into any sort of worker limits or anything like that? Well, I don't know the, the exact limit, but uh, for example, you are referring to the huge databases. Yes, I, I guess whenever you trade off, I suppose. Yes, we're, we are um, talking about uh, a database of uh, 500 uh, gigabytes. So it's uh, so, uh, so, so big. So in the transit models, one. it was, there was the, the vacuuming of the transit models with uh, it's making collapse the, the reports. Hello? Hello, I've, I've Hello. decided to give you permission to talk because I'm, I'm adding information to your question and I might be getting it very wrong. Yeah, they, um, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, I think one of the original goals of the design of uh, putting things in memory was to handle huge uh, reports with uh, tens of thousands of uh, account, uh, account move lines. Yes. So what I'm wondering is if this uh, refactoring, which will change database queries to uh, more um, information in the memory, uh, because you're using Python dictionary, uh, did you measure what the memory footprint is of 
producing the reports. So we all agree that it's faster uh, as long as you have enough memory. But the uh, what what's the memory consumption you get with this report? Uh, yes, if you I, haven't measured, then uh, yes, I understand your question. <laughs> I I haven't measured. Okay. So uh, all I can say is that for, for now uh, we haven't had uh, problems with that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can you know, say a little bit more, uh, more about that. Maybe later in this call we can discuss a little bit more about uh, that. Um, sure. Thing. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Alex. Um, one more question that's come in is, um, which version was this refactoring done in, in initially? Yes. Uh, this is the, the refactoring is done in version 12, but it's not merged in version 12, though there are there was a little I, a lot of uh, other models depending on the the current financial reports of the OCA. But in uh, version 13, the current version of the OCA is based in this uh, pull request to the uh, version 12. So now in the OCA is only in the 13, but it's uh, able to, it's possible to have these reports uh, also in, in 12. And that's if we just run that unmerged PR. Yes, no, the, 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 PR, the pull request is not merged. In 12. Okay, do you happen to have the number of that PR handy? Or which which repo? Is it an account financial reports? Yes, I can look for it. Okay. I think it's the I think it's here. Okay, I'm going to share again my screen. It's the number uh, 660. And here is available the pull request to comment and here is the discussion. So if somebody somebody uh, wants to to mark uh, to to improve the financial reports, could uh, send some message here or in the thirteen. Excellent. Thank you for that. Have we got any last questions? Oh, here is one. I'm just going to read this straight out because I don't quite want to try and interpret it. So in the old times of Odoo version 8, we could see partial reconcile mark in the general ledger. Since the new financial reports, the partial reconcile marks are not shown in the general ledger. Do you think it would be possible to have partial reconcile marks in the general ledger without causing performance issues? Uh, well, now what is showing the financial reports in the general ledger is what it's full reconcile, not partially reconcile. And I think to, that showing partial reconcile it would create performance issues because there are some reconciliations with uh, hundreds of partial reconciles for one hand for one only full uh, full reconcile. So um, maybe the numbers of the partial reconciles could be as big as the account move line line. So I think it's going to affect 
uh, the the financial report performance uh, in a big way. Yes. It's a lot worse now since the um, stock refactoring as well. And the um, now that they re partially reconcile the Anglo-Saxon records, if you happen to have to deal with Anglo-Saxon accounting as well. Sorry. Okay. Well, with no more questions, thank you very much for your time. It was good to hear an update on the um, refactor and the performance improvements in the financial reports. Um, and we look forward to, I suppose, further updates to, to this repository. Yes. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you for your time. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.